This is Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire, doing the quest, the movable puzzle pieces. Um, we have already done movable puzzle piece one yesterday, and so when you log in again as the new uh, movable puzzle piece quest starts, you get this cute little pop-up with Mr. Moogle. It says you found a puzzle piece, your next event awaits. Now what's interesting about these quests is that if you completed the previous quest, you'll now have the next quest in the chain. But if you didn't, it just gives you another opportunity to do that first puzzle piece. So it's a series of interconnected quests. They keep giving you the quest over and over and over again, and whether you receive piece one, two, three, four, five, or six, depends on whether you have finished the previous puzzle pieces. But to go into this, this is Moogle Puzzle Piece 2. And all these are 24-hour quests, pretty standard. And inside it says, craft a piece of gear for 1,000 points. Craft a common piece of gear for 2,000, an uncommon for 3,000, a rare piece of gear for 4,000, an epic, a legendary. You might say, ah, shit, I already crafted or I crafted yesterday, like almost everybody in my server whined and groaned until you look at two things. One, you need almost no points. It's a joke. This is, this is like, of all the quests I've ever seen, why even make it this quest? I don't know. But point number two, you get points just for combining. Now, what I had done is I combined and combined and combined all the time as I went uh, religiously until I got to a point where there was too much to combine, and then I just stopped entirely. And when this quest rolled around, a lot of my friends didn't have anything to combine, and they kind of groaned, um, but I had just waves. Now, obviously, I, I already did this with my main character, so I'm showing you a, a second character. So I'm acting like I've already done this. I have. Um, but basically, look at this. This hardened hide, 17, combined, quest is done. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's just combine some shit. You win the quest. And the real, the real thing about this quest is not can you manage to beat Google Puzzle 2. No, Google, uh, I'm sorry, Moogle. Moogle Puzzle 2 is not difficult. Um, I think instead this one is a who can manage to get the first place prize. So let's go over those prizes. If, if you need more explanation of how to beat this quest, you should just quit. Quit all forms of games for life. Um, there's nothing to do. You just beat the quest. But let's look at the, the reason you might want to push harder and combine all of your stuff. Like a lot of these quests, the tier rewards are terrible. Um, you'll get an apple. Who cares? Uh, tier 2, you get more junk. And tier 3, you get your puzzle piece and some stuff. I mean, sure, I got a common material chest. Great. Um, but the real benefits here are the, the tier prices. Now again, the tier prices are all just competitive. Who went how far to get prize one? You have no way to know. I think on mine, I had so many components. I ended up with like 195,000 points and I got first place. Um, this was one, this was actually the only movable puzzle piece that I got first place on on my server. Um, and I did get this this lifetime tier one. Let's go to the three. You're going to get a million Noxus XP, 30,000 gold, and 30 Arbiters. It's pretty cool. Tier two is just more of the same, but bumped up a little. And tier one, it's a pretty good amount of Noctis, pretty good amount of gold, pretty good amount of Arbiters, and this lifetime tier one resource chest. And I've talked about this before. All it does is it, you open this chest, it picks a random one of the tier one elements. Let's say you get energy, and you will get a permanent global 100% energy production bonus, um, which depending on how you feel about production, is either super good or the worst thing in the world. And by the time this quest appears on your server, or 60 days in, tier three, you know, it is terrible. <laughs> let's, just, let's just leave it at that. This guy is all farms all the time, and even if he got, I guess that's true. If it was a 100% food bonus, um, and you made it on a character that had food rings, you could kind of get this little synergy going, and you could actually keep up with food production um, for your tier two crap. But even then, you're, you're talking about a strategy just to help your other guild mates um, struggle through the early stages of the game. No, no, real, no real benefit. Uh, and that's it. That's Moogle Puzzle Piece 2. Oh, let's talk about the puzzle piece itself. 
then they give you uh, puzzle piece one, of course. You must have just finished puzzle piece one to get puzzle piece two. Or here it is, actually. No, I just completed it. Puzzle piece two. So I'm going to do it. You ready for this? Let's see what I get. I'm going to predict it's going to be 1,000 gold. 500, even worse. Um, it seems to just be an amount of gold, a small amount of gold, um, and it gets slightly better day by day. But I think even like the day four, day five prize was like 1,000 gold. So it's a tiny amount of gold. I think the only reason it exists as an item is because that's the way the game applies the variable. I don't think there's any other reason for it. Um, it's in your treasure. You use the puzzle piece, and that actually activates that you completed that day. Um, so now, any time I would have gotten the Moogle puzzle piece quest, I will get three out of six the following time. Yep, yeah, that's it. All right. Let's log into a different character, and let's see if I have a different Moogle puzzle piece, because I should. Of course I should. And of course, I will blot out my own logging in, so you guys don't see it. But I can do this in one recording and save myself a little bit of time. Also, found the first puzzle piece. That's not going to work for me. Puzzle piece two, yeah, no point. Okay, 